So I was planning on making this video a little bit earlier, although you'll still get it in a timely manner. Um, I just got pulled over and I'm living in this new area and Long Beach has like a million one-way streets and I thought like, oh, I don't know, I've been driving for like 15 years now, no, 14 years, that if you're on a one-way street and you come to an intersection with crossing traffic, although you're leaving one-way street, you can still turn left. That's my left. <clears throat> um, apparently not because I did it with a cop behind me and he pulled me right over and he's like, do you realize you just ran a red light? And I'm like, well, can you turn left? You know, I told him like my whole story and it, you know, I seemed honest, it, you know, whatever. I ran my license and obviously I'm sitting here, so I'm not, I'm not a criminal. And he's like, this is a warning. He's like, you ran a red light, but it's a warning. I think he just wanted to go home. But anyway, long story short, just like last week, just like my parking ticket, just like Jess not getting her ticket, I didn't get a ticket. Maybe like the Beaver Bunch is lucky. Who knows? Anyway, um, yeah, we're talking about underwear. So here, check this out for you guys, just for you. My underwear, my boxer shorts. I hope my little pee pee hole is closed, but um, yeah, I wear boxers and this is what I have on. See? Cool, huh? So now that's, that's out of the way completely. Um, Tina and um, completely like overlooked the whole fact that we were in New York all together, all of us. See? New York, us. Um, actually, I'm getting a cold, so I've been taking this um, for the last 24 hours, trying to drink my liquids and take my cold medicine. There's a million reasons why I could be sick. Um, it rained, it was hot, and we were like in and out of like cool places, like back out in the hot weather. Um, other reasons I'm not gonna talk about. Um, yeah, so New York was awesome, awesome, awesome. Michelle is like the best host ever. In fact, Michelle, I left you a little present. Um, if you walk out to your front room in the cat tree under his bed, I slipped something under his bed for you, a little, little present for me, a little thank you something something so check that out when you get home yeah so Tina's super cool we had a great time went to the dyke march um, we went to a peer party at Chelsea Pier with like millions and thousands of lesbians which was super cool and then the next night we went to Stonewall Inn and Stonewall is like the reason we have gay pride and it was really really fun and I met a group of people who um, were nice enough to like take me around town because Tina and Michelle went home at like 10 o'clock on Sunday and I'm like, go home at 10 o'clock on Sunday or stay out on party until 5 in the morning and then fly back Monday morning. So I chose the second half and I kind of ditched them and hung out with other people. But I wanted a party. I didn't... I feel really bad. I'm sorry I ditched you guys. I'm sorry we didn't make a collab video. But I'll be back soon and we'll make more videos. We'll make sweet love on the bed behind you, Michelle. That's always in your videos. But I had so much fun. So much fun. So we were at the pier party at the Chelsea Pier. I'm talking to this girl and she's really, really, really pretty. And um, I'm telling her about YouTube, but try not to sound dorky, but kind of like seriously, I make these YouTube videos and these are my YouTube friends. And <laughs> I mean, that's so stupid. And as soon as I'm, like, I'm telling her the story, this girl comes up to me and I don't know who you are or whatever, if you're watching, then cool. She's like, what's your name? And I'm like, AJ. And she's like, oh my god, I watch your YouTube videos. But I think she watches just Tuna Talk. Because I'm like, oh, do you know Tina and Michelle from the Beaver Bunch? And she's like, no. So anyway, I was really cool because it totally validated my story and didn't make me look like a total moron to this girl. But um, yeah, thanks, girl. You totally like swooped in at the best time ever. And I uh, totally admire you for that. And I sent Michelle all the video from New York. So hopefully, hopefully... Fingers crossed, sometime by next week she'll have the video up. We watched Gay Pride from the, the library steps, like where they filmed Ghostbusters, and I was like so like, oh my god, this is where they filmed Ghostbusters, this is where the bad guy lives, and they're like, AJ, shut the fuck up, like it's the library. To them it's the library, to me, it's the home of the Ghostbusters. So I could, I could just go on and on all day about how awesome New York was, but I have to disagree with Michelle, because one of her favorite things about summer is how New York smells, and New York smelled like hot, barbecue and like ass. It didn't smell like anything I would be looking forward to as part of the summer, but hey, if that's your thing, you know, go for it. Yeah, so that's it. That's my update for Wednesday. I'm, I'm probably all hyped up on pills and like totally pumped on the fact that I didn't get a red light ticket. Oh my God, that'd be like $300. I'd be like out picking up trash on the side of the road on a Sunday with an orange vest on being like, 
hey, I run red light, what did you do? And they're like, oh, I got a DUI, or oh, I beat my wife up. And I'm like, yeah, I run red light. So thank God I did not get a ticket. Yeah, enough on and on and on. I'm gonna go. So, I hope you guys have a great week. Have a happy and safe 4th of July. Please don't drink a drive or you'll be picking up trash too. Oh, lastly, Michelle, on your personal channel, you mentioned that I left two shirts at your house and that you were going to sell them on eBay. If you could definitely sell them on eBay, that way I could, like, you know, do fly to 888 with you or do something cool. And they're probably, I'm guessing, this is my guess because I don't know what I left there. One black under, one black t-shirt, which is, they're nice, they're expensive. And the second one's probably an undershirt that has, like, stained yellow armpits. So, yeah, sell them. They'll smell like armpit. New York ass, rain, and Giorgio Armani cologne. That's like a good mix, probably smells good.